This meatloaf is my favorite. I don't have meatloaf often at all. Matter of fact, I haven't had it in probably five plus years, but this recipe right here, oh my goodness, I hope you try. It's super easy and it melts in your mouth. So I wanted to give you guys some dinner ideas. This is my one pot of goodness. It's like a dirty rice. It's, a, it's very Cajun, very delicious. I usually pair it with cucumbers. Just refreshing, cools it down. It's nice and spicy. This is our bow tie with Cajun red sauce. Amazing. My children love, love, love this recipe and so do all their friends. And I just add spinach to it. This here is our chicken curry with potatoes and lentils to make it nice and hearty over rice. And here's a bake recipe that you guys should try. If you guys love strawberry, your kids love strawberries, try this strawberry crunch cake. It's three tiers, everything is from scratch, from the frosting to the cake, amazing. Hope you guys try these other recipes. Look for the links to these other recipes all over this video. Let's get back to the recipe at hand, meatloaf. Let's get started. So my oven is currently set to 350 degrees. We're gonna let her preheat and we're gonna take two pounds of ground beef and add one green bell pepper. You can do half a green bell pepper, but I love the whole thing. And then I do half of a white onion and about two to three cloves of garlic. And then I get to Bixen. You guys don't be like me. Go ahead and get you a bigger bowl. <laughs> I don't know what I was thinking with the size of this bowl because I knew I was gonna have to stir everything together to get all the flavors mixed in. But as you can see, this bowl is way too small. But anyway, get everything mixed in. Get those green bell peppers, your onions, and your garlic mixed in there really, really well. And after that, we're gonna go ahead and we're going to add two tablespoons of brown sugar. And then we're gonna add some salt and some pepper. A half teaspoon of black pepper, one teaspoon of kosher salt. It's amazing that that's all you need, um, but it goes far. And then you want to get to mix in. So I am definitely going to have to switch bowls, you guys. What was I thinking? Okay, so I could breathe a little better now. I switch bowls. <laughs> and we are stirring, getting everything mixed in really, really well. Here we're going to add one tablespoon of Worcester sauce. Worcester, do you guys know how to say that word? They actually have a Worcester sauce that I had that is completely vegan and I used that because that's what I had in the fridge and it worked perfectly fine. The smell of Worcester against beef and onions and bell peppers and garlic is amazing. So you guys make sure you mix that really, really well. So here I'm adding one cup of plain breadcrumbs. Some people like to use Italian breadcrumbs, some people like to use crackers and just crunch them up. I used breadcrumbs, plain breadcrumbs you guys. Mix them in really well, this is why you can't see him. And then I mixed two eggs plus one half cup of milk. Mixed it really well and then I added that to my meat. Um, and I mix that really well and you can't see it here, but that is probably what makes our meatloaf extremely tender and juicy. So here you guys see that I have a bread pan and in my bread pan, I added some foil and then I add all of my meat, you guys. And then I'm just gonna go ahead and squish everything in there. Do what you can with what you have. And that's my hands. Thank you, Lord Jesus, for my hands. And I'm just gonna squish everything in there really well. <laughs> pat it in there, pat it in there. And we, at this point, should have our oven already preheated to 350 degrees. Now, we're gonna cook our meatloaf for 30 minutes, you guys. 30 minutes, and then we will pull her out. And we're gonna put that glaze on there. You guys will see the glaze. And then we're gonna cook her for another 30 to 40 minutes. All right. So she's in the oven and I'm going to go ahead and make my makeshift glaze. Now here I'm using 3 fourths cup of ketchup, 1 fourth cup of light brown sugar, and 1 teaspoon of yellow mustard. And honestly you guys, I don't think that I need this much. If I were you, I would literally do all these ingredients in half. You do not need that much unless you just really, really love that topping like that. Okay you guys, so at this point my meatloaf has cooked for a full 30 minutes. Now, you guys see I'm adding our glaze topping. Wonderfully delicious. The only thing is, <laughs> like I said before, I would totally half, I wouldn't use as much as I use here. Or it depends on what type of pan you use. Being that I use this bread pan, I definitely do not need this much glaze, you guys. So, once we get uh, the top of our meatloaf glazed, we are going to add her back to the oven for 30 to 40 minutes. You want her to reach 160 degrees Fahrenheit if you guys have a thermometer. I don't have one. I know when she's done. <laughs> I just check her just to make sure. And 
I'm telling y'all, she came out wonderfully moist. You guys saw how easy this was. This is one of the easiest recipes. I made some potatoes, some garlic pepper potatoes with some butter. Oh my goodness. I slathered this meatloaf on top of it. It was absolutely wonderfully delicious. My favorite. I don't know how some people don't like meatloaf, but honey chow, I love it. All right, y'all. I'm waiting for you guys to go make this recipe. <laughs> Come back and tell me how it was. Thank you so much for watching Faith's Oven. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share. And don't forget to share your gift. Share your gift with the world and use it for God's glory. In the name of Jesus Christ, God bless you guys. This is Faith's Oven.